Well, one, thanks, Mitch, for putting this together. Last time we didn't do much about China. This time we are. So what have we learned? 90% of the protective equipment that our doctors and nurses and healthcare professionals need to keep us safe and keep their families safe is made in China. So President Trump is hell-bent on trying to bring the medical supply chain back. There's a big step forward in this bill. Uh, we have a $7.5 billion tax credit to incentivize PPE material to be made in the United States. Gloves, masks, gowns, sanitizers, bedding, uh, $7.5 billion tax credit modeled off the uh, energy tax credit. We think that'll have a big effect on bringing the supply chain back. Under the Berry Amendment, there's a requirement that American military uniforms be made in America. We're going to put PPE under that so the national stockpile will have protective equipment made in America and we don't have to depend on China. Uh, Senator uh, Cornyn has a Chips for America Act. We lost the semiconductor industry, all left. Now we're trying to bring it back. Taiwan made a big investment in Texas. We're going to give tax credits to make semiconductors here, which helps you in another way. Uh, Senator Portman's got a bill that I think is much needed to punish people who steal intellectual property in America to create a security council around research and development and penalties for those bad actors who try to steal their way to success. And finally, uh, Senator Murkowski lives in Alaska. There are a lot of precious, critical metals and materials that America has, but we do a very poor job of getting it out of the ground in an environmentally sound way, and we're becoming more and more dependent on China and other places in the world for critical minerals, and we've got a plan to, to become more American-made and owned there.